Um, do you have anything you'd like to say? Y yes, yes, Mr. Chairman, I would. Mm -hmm. So first I want to thank you, Chairman, because I appreciate the opportunity to share some final thoughts. I have acknowledged I have made my own mistakes and I have owned up to them publicly and under oath. But silence and complicity in the face of the daily destruction of our basic norms and civility to one another will not be one of them. I did things and I acted improperly, at times at Mr. Trump's behest. I blindly followed his demands. My loyalty to Mr. Trump has cost me everything. My family's happiness, friendships, my law license, my company, my livelihood, my honor, my reputation, and soon my freedom. And I will not sit back, say nothing, and allow him to do the same to the country. Indeed, given my experience working for Mr. Trump, I fear that if he loses the election in 2020, that there will never be a peaceful transition of power. And this is why I agreed to appear before you today. And in closing, I'd like to say directly to the President, we honor our veterans even in the rain. You tell the truth even when it doesn't aggrandize you. You respect the law and our incredible law enforcement agents. You don't villainize them. You don't disparage generals, gold star families, prisoners of war, and other heroes who had the courage to fight for this country. You don't attack the media and those who question what you don't like or what you don't want them to say. And you take responsibility for your own dirty deeds. You don't use your power of your bully pulpit to destroy the credibility of those who speak out against you. You don't separate families from one another or demonize those looking to America for a better life. You don't vilify people based on the God they pray to, and you don't cuddle up to our adversaries at the expense of our allies. And finally, you don't shut down the government before Christmas and New Year's just to simply appease your base. This behavior is churlish, it denigrates the office of the president, and it's simply un-American. And it's not you. So to those who support the president and his, rhetoric, and his rhetoric, as I once did, I pray the country doesn't make the same mistakes that I have made, or pay the heavy price that my family and I are paying. And I thank you very much for this additional time, Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the ranking member has a closing statement. And so you wonder whether people believe you. I don't know. I don't know whether they believe you. But the fact is that you come, you have your head down, and this has got to be one of the hardest things that you could do. I want to, first of all, thank you. I know that this has been hard. I know that you face a lot. I know that you are worried about your family. But this is a part of your destiny. And hopefully, this portion of your destiny will lead to a better, a better, a better Michael Cohen, a better Donald Trump, a better United States of America, and a better world. And I mean that from the depths of my heart. When we're dancing with the angels, the question will be asked, in 2019, what did we do to make sure we kept our democracy intact? Did we stand on the sidelines and say nothing? We have got to get back to normal. With that, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>